Today is the winter solstice, meaning that it's going to appear to be nighttime in Calico all day long. And I do have to say, it's a little bit weird that it's 12 p.m. and it's dark out. I plot reset Stinky into the right place this morning, and thankfully he settled into the right spot on the first attempt. I've noticed that when plot resetting villagers, they all seem to have this weird desire to be on the right side of town, and I'm wondering if that's actually because it's closer to my house or what's going on there. I checked my letters and I actually did get a letter from Savannah, who unfortunately had to move away to make room for Stinky. Uh, she was a really cool villager, so I'll say if any of you have her in your town, make sure to give her some extra love. We're doing really well with our flowers actually, I'd have to say. We have a couple hybrids going, as well as getting more of the default colors, which is of course really handy. Uh, for some reason, pink roses just aren't breeding, but that's okay, Maybe maybe they're just shy. I decide to head down and start saying good afternoon to our villagers. I also remember to fill in the spot left by Savannah. As much as I loved her, it's going to be really nice just to be able to use this path properly. Lolly is unpacking today and I have to say she is such a cutie. That being said, she might have a bit of a sneaky streak. I guess we'll have to see. Kitty is also in, and she asked me to go find Hugh for her. On my way to find him, I run into Paula, who thankfully seems eager to tell me all about what she wants for Toy Day, which just makes my job so much easier. I find Hugh, and it seems he actually wanted to find me too, since he hands me a beaded shirt, which actually doesn't look half bad. I take him back to Kitty's house, and she rewards me, which is very nice. Continuing around town, I just realized how cool of a house Quilson has. I mean, look at the fish, it's living its best life. Approaching the town plaza, Isabel is looking just a little bit cold. She hands me a blue glow wand, which honestly looks really good with my outfit, and you bet your boots I'm going to be waving this around everywhere. I've found all the fossils for today, and I've also watered all my flowers, so I decide to head to the museum to donate everything. We have about 27 out of 67 fossils donated for anyone who's curious. As per tradition, I head to Nuxling Junction and find actually a really cool jukebox that I decide to purchase. I also buy out Leaf stock again today and even luckier for us, he actually has a cedar sapling. I'm gonna need to collect a lot of these, I think. I also ended up stopping by the Able Sisters, and it seems like Sable actually knows who I am, which is a huge improvement. Uh, I purchased a really cute cat dress to match my ears, and then I head out. The jukebox fits in really nicely at home, and now I just need some music for it. Kabuki ends up meeting up with me outside, and he asked me for a new catchphrase, so I gave him Mew as a suggestion. Something about a tough, deep-voiced cat letting out a little Mew every now and then is adorable. Even after selling all the items I had on me, we still didn't have enough to fully fund the bridge, so I decided to do something I wouldn't normally do. I head up to the post office and I cash in my Meow coupons. I normally just collect them and actually never really spend them, so I might as well. This gives us more than enough to fund the bridge, so I do just that. Seeing as we get 3,000 bells per coupon, I decided to do a couple of the initiatives to get some more. Overall, I'd say that was a pretty good winter solstice. Finally, some sunshine! Ah, oh, yesterday was really cool, but I am definitely more of a daytime person. We got a lot more hybrid orange roses today, which is really nice, but still no pinks, unfortunately. I decided to head down to say hello to Stinky, and it seems Kabuki is also creeping on the new villager. Stinky right off the bat calls me his rival and says the competition will begin tomorrow. Should I be worried? I noticed that Eloise is actually watching me water some flowers, and she's also carrying a watering can, and she double waters this one pansy. I'm gonna feel really bad moving her out now. I find Lolly, and she wants to trade my ruby for her skeleton? Again, I ask, should I be concerned, you guys? She seems so sweet, but why on earth is she carrying around a skeleton? There's actually someone new in town today, a traveler by the name of Joan. 
She's offering to sell turnips as part of a stock market, but I think her prices today are a little bit too high for my taste. I generally only purchase if they are below 100 bells, so hopefully that's the case next week. I walked into Quilson's house and I completely forgot that it was his birthday. I did consider handing him the skeleton that Lolly traded me, but I ultimately gave him this emerald. I don't want my villagers to think I'm up to anything. Our bridge is finished today, and man, is it ever nice not to have to run all the way across town just across the bridge. I think I'm going to eventually change the type of bridge we have, but for now this is going to have to do. I was actually just on my way to donate the fossils for today until Kabuki stopped me because he wanted to buy the skeleton. Now I'm very concerned. That being said, I do need the bells, so I did let him buy it. Does that make me a bad mayor? After donating my fossils, I head on over to Nookling Junction, and while they didn't really have anything that caught my eye for today, Leaf was selling a cedar sapling, which is really lucky for us. Sable also seems to be really warming up to me, which is great because hopefully soon we'll be able to get the sewing machine, and it's going to be absolutely amazing to have proper paths again. I head back to Town Hall and Isabel actually lets me know that the villagers want to hold a ceremony to celebrate the completion of our new bridge. I always thought that these scenes were really cute and I hate saying no to Isabel, but I have to admit they do get a little bit stale after a while. I did notice something new though. When my mare pops her party popper, the fish that was chilling below the bridge actually gets scared away, which is a really cute detail. After the ceremony, I head back to Town Hall and do a little bit of revision on our town flag. I got a lot of really nice suggestions from you guys, and I'm somewhat incorporating quite a few of those ideas into one. I filled in the cat face, gave it a little shadow, wrote calico on it, and finally gave the flag a border. I'm not gonna say it's finished, but I am definitely a lot happier with how it looks now than before. Once that was finished, I head back to my house to meet up with our Canadian ghost friend and scan in our next villager. Tangy is such a cutie and I've wanted her for a while. She is actually the favorite villager of one of my favorite streamers on Twitch, and she is going to be moving in tomorrow. So I have no clue how this happened, but Tangy did not move in her house plot today. The space where Nox's house was is definitely empty, but Tangy isn't anywhere to be seen. I don't think I've ever had this happen before, but I guess I'll take it as a blessing in disguise since it gives me the opportunity to fill in Nox's space. Fingers crossed she moves in tomorrow, okay. While I was wandering around town working on my dailies, I actually stumbled across a lost mitten. I first asked Kabuki if it was his since he was nearby, but he didn't recognize it. Luckily, the next villager I run into is Hugh, and it turns out to be his. I noticed a sign up on the notice board saying that Nookling Junction will be closed tomorrow for renovations. I feel a little bit bad that they're going to be working on a holiday, but I guess they never really take off holidays either. Which is a little bit weird now that I think about it. I decided to stop by the store one last time before they change it. Turns out they were having a pre-remodeling sale, so I purchased a cute CD cabinet for my house. Not that I really have much space, but... Of course, as per usual, I take the time to swing by the Able sisters, and it seems even Mabel has noticed a change in Sable. I'm happy that she's warming up to me, and really, really hoping that we can get the sewing machine soon. I also take the time to purchase the Santa shirt, which means I think I nearly have the complete collection. I should probably check on that before I forget. It also turns out that they're probably going to be getting a new neighbor in the next couple days, which I'm excited to check out once that's complete. So I'd be lying if I said that I could get this tangy thing out of my head. So for science, I decide to test something with our ghostly Canadian roommate. I try to scan in our next villager who is... Unfortunately, Cat. Now, if you've been around the channel for a while, you probably know that I have a bit of a history with Cat that's a little bit rocky, but she's the only Uchi Cat villager. 
I guess we're gonna have to learn to get along. <laughs> For whatever reason, Wiss seems to have no problem getting her to move in, and he didn't even ask me who to replace, so I'm curious to see if we'll have two move-ins tomorrow, or if only one of them will. I guess we'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, though, I decided to head back outside and do a little bit more gardening. I lined the top of town with more perfect peaches, and I also put some normal peaches on the other side of our first bridge. Finally, I stop near the town hall and plant some more cherry trees for Isabel. I've also laid out some more paths around town hall, although I'm not sure if they're gonna stay because it's somewhat uneven. Finally for today, I head into the town hall and request another bridge for Calico to be placed near my house. This is the last bridge we can build in town without having to tear down another one, and it's gonna make getting around town so much easier. I pay off a little bit of the bridge before calling it a day. Today started out a little bit differently, since I had someone waiting outside my front door and I'm also still wearing my Santa outfit so this is just a little bit embarrassing. He introduces himself as Shrunk and he's looking to open a live venue on Main Street. I decide that it actually does sound like a pretty cool idea, and he tells me to collect signatures from my villagers and bring them back to him. First villager I end up speaking to was Hugh, and it kinda seems like he doesn't actually know what a club is, but at least he said yes. The other villagers easily agree, and I'm bringing the sheet back to Shrunk in no time. While I'm on Main Street, I check out the new Knuckling store which has an increased stock of items and some new sections. I pick up a slingshot while I'm there, and you know, with any luck I'll finally be able to shoot down those annoying balloons. I also stop by the new store, Kix, run by Kix himself, and I pick up some new socks and shoes as well, although I'm actually not too sure if I like the pink with the rest of my outfit, but I'm also not planning on wearing this for the entirety of the series, so I guess we'll see. Heading back into town, Kabuki asks me to deliver something to Kitty, and when I do, she gives me a manhole cover as a reward. She said it would fit nicely in my house. And they say that Animal Crossing GameCube villagers are sassy. Luckily, it seems Kabuki was actually looking for a manhole cover for his house, so I sell it to him. After I finish my dailies, I swing by the post office and sell my meow coupons again to help fund the bridge. Tomorrow, we're actually going to be able to fully walk around town really easily. I think my next big goal would probably be paying off my house loan, as I believe after that we'll be able to unlock the island, and then we can really start making use of the Bell Boom ordinance. To wrap up for today, I headed back to my house and tried to scan in Tangy once again. She never did move in, and I honestly have no explanation for it, but Wisp is acting like he hasn't really scanned her in before, so hopefully this time she moves in successfully. Hello to you guys! Happy Friday! I hope everyone's having a absolutely amazing uh, I guess holiday period, holiday week, or normal week, depending on what you celebrate. Welcome back. I can see we got another pink rose back there, which is awesome. So, we have a couple things happening today. First and foremost, I have some good news to share with you guys, and I will go ahead and run over now to show you exactly what it is. Give me a second. That's... that's not your house. Okay, anyway, that was kind of weird. <laughs> um, so, you guys remember yesterday, actually it was just like two seconds ago for you guys, but for me, we scanned in Tangy and she properly moved in. I have no clue what was wrong the first time, but she was just not settling, or I mean, I guess she didn't ever sell it at all. She didn't move in. Um, I still have no explanation. If you guys have ever had that happen where you've scanned in Amiibo Villager, and they didn't actually move in, let me know. Because I never have, and I've, I've scanned in so many. Uh, so anyways, look at our little town, you guys. It's coming together. We also got the bridge finished yesterday. So officially we have a bridge right here. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm still a little bit weird about having the bridge right beside my house, but at the same time it's really handy because I can just, like, nip up to the... I guess the town tree or this area really quickly now, so I'm not too fussed about it. 
But anyways, yeah, this has been a really different week. Um, felt like a really strange week in terms of my schedule, in terms of recording and streaming. Uh, and of course recording this. <laughs> um, because of the holiday season, we've been streaming at different times, streaming different games than I normally would. So I've been recording at different times and it's been weird. I don't know why these won't breed together. Um, this might be a dumb question. Do you guys know if pink roses will breed together for more pink roses? Because I know that there's certain flowers, hybrids specifically, that will not breed together for more of their color. Obviously orange is having no problem. But I wonder if pink is one of them? Maybe it's actually not a thing. Maybe I'm just misremembering, but... Either way, I'm gonna keep trying. Um, I know I'm not doing this like in the best area down here either, just because we're kind of getting blocked by peach trees, but that's okay. Um, let's also make sure to go ahead and water these down here. One of ours wilted. That's weird, I usually water them. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm not gonna water all the flowers on camera because that will take a very long time. Um, trust me, we have a lot of them, but I am gonna start watering the important ones and the hybrids. I can see we have another orange rose over here. Yoink! I'm actually gonna take that somewhere else though. Um, we can also say hello to our villagers. Kabuki's not in. Cat is not in. Did I even say hello to Cat yet? I don't think I have. <laughs> uh, Stinky is in. We can say hello to him. Now Stinky... Stinky's a little bit of weirdo. He he called me a rival right away, and then when I was speaking to him a different time... Man, this music is so motivating. <laughs> he said something about the new arrival, like someone else moving into town. I think it was maybe Cat also being a rival, so... He just wants to fight everyone. Hey, you made it, huh, Crystal? Well, take a load off. What can I help you with? I went shopping with Kabuki the other day. On impulse, I bought my folding... Sorry, I got my folding chair on. Then I thought about what I'd done and I realized I really have no use for that type of thing. You you already have one for starters. We're standing right beside it. <laughs> Begging you, please buy it. Okay. I'm not gonna actually use it in my house, but I hate saying no to you guys, so I'll do the right thing if I have to. I'm not really sure I like Stinky's shirt. I think that's his default one. I might want to change that and make it something Red or blue, or red and blue, if there's anything like that. Okay, well there's one villager we've spoken to. Uh, Lolly is not in. Kitty is right here. I'd love for you to come over later and see how I've been decorating. Oh, does it have to be later? I hate it when they do this. <laughs> well, what time's good for you? 11 a.m. Oh my goodness. Maybe. We'll see if I'm still around at that time. <laughs> I always hate it when they do that. I feel guilty. Uh, do I need any more of these? No. No hybrids. So this is where I've been putting some flowers to match her house. Orange and blue. Um, I'm not sure I really like it just yet. We'll see how it looks when we can get rid of this, which we're very close to, by the way. We have... Four more villagers to scan in, which isn't a lot. <laughs> uh, so hopefully we should be able to get rid of all this, I guess, designs everywhere soon. Uh, let's see. I am so happy though. Tangy also plot reset it into the right place on the very first try, which is so, so nice. I love it when villagers are just like, oh yeah, I'll move in. And I'm going to move in nicely as well. Uh, let's see, where do we have a sp- Ooh, we got another hybrid here. That's cool. Wait, how did I get a hybrid pink right there? There wasn't a- Yellow and red won't make pink for these ones, right? I don't really breed these ones, so I don't really know what does what. <laughs> but either way, we got- Ooh, actually, you know what? Better idea. Uh, we got another hybrid. So I'm gonna see if we can breed these two together a little bit separately down here. Uh, if I had space. Uh, where should I put these? Let's put these over here. 
But in terms of hybrids, I think we're doing pretty decent, you guys. We got a number already. I think I really need to go back and revisit my, hi my own hybrid guide or someone else's even just to remember how to do everything. Because it has been a long time since I've needed to focus on it so much. I also desperately want to fill in this area back here because it bothers me and I feel like I'm always going to lose a fossil back there. It hasn't happened so far, mind you, but... Um, speaking of fossils, I actually haven't seen a single fossil. <laughs> Let's see here. Wow, nothing. I'm assuming they're all in the center then. It's a little bit surprising. Okay, let's start up here. Oh, these are all fully grown now. Look at how nice that looks. I actually didn't take note when I was plot resetting earlier, but I probably could have seen that <laughs> when the train was pulling in with my plot resetting character. I wish I had been paying more attention. Seriously, game, you're gonna put them that close to each other? Wow. Okay. I'll take it. Not gonna complain. <laughs> um, I don't know. I really like the two wide spaces between the trees, but I kind of want to do something with bushes over here as well. I'm not sure if I actually will or not, though, because I know that I couldn't do it on the other side because there's enough space. Notice this year just flew by. For those who had a good or bad year alike, let's all join for a countdown and ring in the new year. Yep, so that is going to be happening. I don't know how I'm going to go about recording that just yet. I'm probably going to have to time travel for you guys and upload it. Ooh, let's fill in this as well while I'm here. Um, but for anyone who is curious, I will be streaming New Year's Eve. Probably at my normal time, which is 2 p.m. EST, and I do stream on Twitch, by the way. We have a lot of people who've been joining us recently, um, so thank you to you guys. Shout out to you guys um, who didn't already know that, so I definitely want to make sure people are aware. Um, I'm going to be streaming the New Year's Eve festivities in Animal Crossing GameCube, Animal Crossing City Folk, and Animal Crossing New Leaf with my memory town. Hi, Hugh. Good evening, Crystal. Wait a sec, it's not evening at all. Let's try again. <laughs> I'm pretty forgetful, but I record the good times we shared in the notebook of my heart. Why are you so cute? My goodness. But yeah, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Went off on a tangent. If you guys want to come hang out and stream, feel free. Feel free. I won't be streaming Calico or anything, but we definitely do a lot of other, other uh, Animal Crossing content and other games, of course. How many fossils do we got? Three? That's not too bad. Oh, nope, nope, gotta get rid of that. Oh! Oh, and she's wearing like a little tulip shirt as well. Oh my goodness, my heart. <laughs> okay. Why are my villagers the cutest things? Okay, so this is where Eloise was, I think. We didn't really speak to her a lot. <laughs> we kind of just had her move in and then ignored her. But I feel like she was never really around when I was on, so... Uh, oh my goodness, this area is a huge mess. Let's see here. Make it so that no one can move into this spot again. That was easy. Very nice. Perfect. Okay, so I don't think we'll have to worry about villagers for that area. Um, now, if you guys were to take a look at the map here... Uh, we have two villagers who are out of place, essentially, that being Hugh and Jay. But we also have two villagers in line, which is really nice of them. <laughs> but they're in line, and I can easily replace them, which is Paula and... Oh, what's his name again? Give me a second. Uh, Quilson. Paula and Quilson. Now, what I was thinking is... We're gonna move a very special villager in where Quilson is. Very special. And I will tell you guys who that is um, probably at the end of this episode, actually. Oh, he knows. <laughs> he knows. Okay, let's go ahead, get these fossils assessed. Um, we are doing really well in our fossils. That's another thing that's been going on. I think we have 37 out of 
67 or something like that? Maybe a bit more than that now? In other words, he's starting to not take all of my fossils. <laughs> Okay, yeah, see, he's found something, not that all of them are something that they need, so that's, there's a slight difference in, in the text there. Uh, make a donation. Yeah, just one thing, just the saber tooth skull. That's all we had. <laughs> Which is fine, I'm not really complaining, since we have the bell boom ordinance on. We're going to be making a lot more bells by selling these fossils, so I'm not too fast. Oh, that is complete. Awesome. There we go. Thank you, Blathers. I think I'm good for now. I really should do a little bit more fishing. I've been very, very lazy when it comes to that, but um, I'm kind of waiting until I get uh, all the villagers settled in before I really kind of start doing stuff. How much pocket space do we have? Oh, we have plenty. Let's go shopping. I know this is kind of what I do every day. I have a little routine. I don't know. What about you guys? Do you guys tend to have a routine when you play this game? Do you tend to shake things up every day? I definitely follow a very strict routine. <laughs> okay, so nothing here that I really want. This chair always looks super uncomfortable. Uh, what does that look like? I don't know why, but that wallpaper always reminds me of 101 Dalmatians. I don't have a good reason for that. I don't even know if that's what their house looked like in that movie, but it's the first thing I always think of. Okay. No Alpine wallpaper or flooring. So we'll have to leave that for today. Uh, we also have the garden store. I've been getting pretty lucky with getting cedar saplings from Leaf. Uh, not every day, like today, <laughs> but it's it's been pretty decent. And it actually does, like, you know, chopping down all my trees does give me a little bit of, I guess, an incentive to come in here and buy this kind of stuff, so it's it's been good. I've, I've actually really appreciated chopping down all my trees, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. Perfect. Okay, next door, Able Sisters. I don't really know what I'm looking for in here. I definitely don't want to continue wearing this outfit for the entirety of the Let's Play. I think it's kind of cute to start off with. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh my good. Okay, okay, yes, don't panic. Yes, good. Yes, this is very good. Okay. Okay, wait, no, no, wait. I gotta decide if I want to do this on stream or not. I'm probably- or <laughs> on stream, on camera. I'm probably not gonna place down my paths on camera just because that will take at least an hour I know I've done it <laughs> multiple times but I will definitely show you guys like obviously before and after but I'm not gonna do it right this second but I do already have paths picked out fun fact crystal welcome oh that's right did you notice the big sewing machine over there I've been using this machine of mine for quite a while now so it acts up from time to time my sister just couldn't stand it anymore so or sister is sorry uh, so they got me that nice new one as a present. It's true we did, but listen to this crystal. Sis says she can't figure out how to use the machine, so it's just been sitting there unused. This machine uses the Nintendo 3DS camera to read QR codes of custom designs. You can also create QR code uh, for designs you've created. It's an amazing machine, specifically made for professionals, but it just sits there collecting dust. I'm not sure if we've given her a sewing machine or a paperweight in the shape of a sewing machine. <laughs> showing machine? Oh my goodness. <laughs> but, but Mabel, I hate to see this machine you two gave me break down because I tried to use it without knowing how. Plus, I've never really used a sewing machine that big before, so I'm a little afraid to touch it. Hmm. Oh, I've got it. Crystal, you look like you'd be handy with a machine like that. Okay, listen. You've been using a sewing machine for years. I don't think I've ever touched one. <laughs> and you think I'm gonna know how to use that? 
Why don't you get some use out of it in my stead? I'm sure I could learn how to use it if I watched you try it out first. Don't mind you using it as long as I'm not busy with other things. If you'd like to give it a try, just let me know. I really don't understand that logic, but I am so happy to see that. <laughs> so I guess tomorrow, or whenever I next record, um, you guys will see a new path in town. Did I already... <sighs> I know I've bought a couple fruit hats. <laughs> I can't remember if I've already bought that one. I think I did. It's very tempting though. <laughs> okay, next up, I wanna go ahead and check out Kicks. I was hoping they might have some more boots or socks that are more my style, but I don't think I like any of these. I'm sorry, Kix, I love you. <laughs> he is a cool NPC, I feel bad. But uh, yeah, not, not my style, not my style. Okay, so what I wanna do now, you guys. Oh, Quilson knows. <laughs> is um, we did a poll, or I should say I did a poll. You guys participated in it last week, uh, deciding what should we do for our smug villager. The options were move in a mouse villager as a joke, uh, move in a cat-like smug villager, or don't even have a smug villager and the reason we couldn't have a cat smug villager is they don't exist for whatever reason um and you guys very clearly said move in a mouse smug villager you guys were very clear on it and i think the only mouse smug villager is chatter we will be moving him in i originally wanted him to be moved in last oh i'm not sure about this now okay so here here's my dilemma we have Hi. Hi, Crystal. I need to talk to you. Are you any good at ocean fishing? I've been doing all this research on fish, but I really need an ocean fish to round out my knowledge. Would you be so kind as to catch one for me? Any kind would do. Okay. I was just talking about fishing. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Give me a second. So we have Paula and we have Quilson in correct placements. We have Hugh and Jay in incorrect placements. I ran into this issue before when I was moving in Phoebe into my other town, Memory, where she- um, Amiibo villagers really like to move in to where uh, the previous villager was. And it can get a little bit tough when there's only two spaces open in town and they will like always try and move in where their predecessor was. So... I guess it's going to be difficult either way. I'm eventually going to run into trouble moving these guys in, I think. I guess we do. We always just move in Quilson today. Why not? Or, sorry, not Quilson. Move move out Quilson, move in Chatter. And this is where I wanted Chatter to go. Um, primarily because I like the idea of having the dog in the town hall, the mouse right beside it, and then just a whole bunch of cats. <laughs> Um, I also have another thing for you guys to help me decide. I'm sorry, I can't remember your username, but one lovely person did comment saying that lilies are apparently poisonous, I think that's the right term, uh, to cats. And I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to learn that. But as you can see, as my phone goes off, uh, we're growing some, some lilies. Do you guys think we should continue to grow them? Or should we leave it? Obviously, this is Animal Crossing. It's not real. <laughs> but do you guys think, for realism's sake, we should not grow lilies in this town? Um, my boyfriend Mike suggested, well, maybe you could grow lilies around Town Hall and around the mouse's house. Because then it'd be like warding off the cats. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'll let you guys know down below. Or, sorry, you guys can let me know down below. Okay, let's go get the fish for Lolly really quick here. 
uh, down here. I'm gonna need to make a path. But the issue is, is that it's not gonna be even with this path and that's gonna drive me crazy. Oh, well, it's somewhat even. Okay, so she said any kind. Let's see if we can get her a duplicate one of something we've already caught. Oh, of course that's new. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find her something else. I definitely don't want to give her something that we haven't already donated or that we don't have a duplicate of because I'm so concerned about forgetting about it, but... Please be something we already have. <laughs> uh, I think we already got that one. Awesome, perfect. Okay, let's go give this to her. I love how my fishing rod is glitching through the side of my cat head thing. <laughs> Uh, where'd she go? Is she wandering this way? Oh my goodness, of course we lose her when we have the fish for her, but I guess we did take a moment. Uh, oh, there they are. These two tend to hang out a lot over here. Thank you so much for this horse mackerel. I knew you were good at fishing, Crystal. Oh, please allow me to say thank you with this. Ooh, what is that? It's a blue down jacket. That's actually pretty cute. I don't mind that. Thank you, Lolly. Awesome. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and oh, donate the fossils and- or donate, sorry, sell the fossils and such that we have on us that we don't need. Um, and then we'll head back and I guess we'll scan Chatter in. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know about this week's poll. I do want you guys to be very involved in the creation of this town, the choosing of villagers and stuff like that, so. Hold on tight and I'll let you guys know what we're gonna do here. I think Kabuki already has a bed in his house, but that would actually be kind of cute to give him. Um, okay. So, let's go scan in Chatter. And while we're on our way there, I'm gonna tell you guys. I said in the first episode that I wanted you guys to choose the last two villagers that we have. My only restrictions are that they are cats. So, I think I want you guys to choose one male and one female. So, for this week, I'm gonna put up a poll with every single female cat villager that we don't already have on it. And I would like you guys to choose one each. Whoever has the most votes by... Oh, goodness. Uh, maybe not next Friday. Maybe earlier than that. We'll see. Maybe next Friday um, is the villager who will move in. Um, and I'll do the same thing with the boys the following week. If that sounds good to you guys, link will be down below in the description. Okay, let's go ahead. See our Canadian roommate. Always oh so polite. <laughs> Never thought a day would come when I'd be soaking up the spotlight like this. So this is Chatter. If you've never met him, he is a mouse that looks like he's made of cheese. He has like a little suit and tie on and I think he's just super fancy. I like him quite a lot. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna be moving out Quilson. Uh, no, ask someone else. And 
hopefully uh, what Chatter will do is just replace Quilson's spot perfectly and that would just make it really easy on me. But unfortunately he goes through my villagers in the order that they were scanned in. There we go, Quilson. Just between the two of us, Quilson is all set to move out tomorrow. Keep it a secret, okay? Well, I suppose it's back to the lamp for me then. Thank you. Awesome. There we go. So, officially we are a cat town with a dog secretary <laughs> and a mouse villager made of cheese. Um, I'm glad you guys like the idea. I'm glad you guys are cool with it. I'm sorry I made the mistake. I do honestly wonder who thought it was a good idea to not have a cat smug villager, but either way. Um, once again, you guys, if you guys would like to vote on the last two villagers in town, there is a third one. I know that I scanned in chatter and I'm talking about the last two. There is one more villager I have planned to move in after chatter, but you guys will see who that is uh, probably within the next couple days. Um, but if you guys would like to vote on, I guess, at first, the first female viewer choice cat, link is down below. And yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it today, or this week, I guess. And I'll see you guys next time.